Welcome to Todd's Dungeon. <laughs> Who doesn't love popcorn during a scary movie? Ooh, maybe it's not a movie. Maybe they're right behind you. <laughs> so join me today as I make my version of a green slime popcorn. <laughs> Now we're going to start this off by using some white chocolate. So I have about one and a half cups worth here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it into the microwave on high for 30 seconds. Stirring each time after 30 seconds until it's completely melted. Now as you can see it is nicely melted. It's lovely and smooth. So next I'm going to use some green food colouring. Now it's very important that you use an oil based as opposed to a normal water based. If you use a water based in the white chocolate it's just going to congeal up and go into like a big clump it just won't work so it's very important that you use an oil based food coloring for white chocolate so really it's just a simple matter of placing in your desired amount of food coloring and giving it a good mix in until you get to the desired shade that you're after and for our next ingredient some popcorn so this would be a, about a standard size bag of, say, microwave popcorn, for example. And of course, you can always make your own. I'll leave a link down below onto my video on how to make your own popcorn at home. So it's just a simple matter of pouring our white chocolates, or our green white chocolate, I should say, onto our popcorn. And you really want to get in there, preferably with a glove because it's very sticky, and just mix it all in. Popcorn flavoured with white chocolate. This is going to be yum. And once it's all coated, I've got some parchment or baking paper here. Just simply place our popcorn mixture onto the parchment paper. And we're doing this so it doesn't harden up into one big clump because it's a lot of white chocolate. So spread it out just like so, so it's all nice and even and separated. And when it comes to the time to bowl it up, it's going to make it a lot easier to serve. Otherwise, it's just going to get one big massive clump of white chocolate covered popcorn. Okay, once it's spread out, give it about half an hour to set and it's ready. Now I've had our green slime popcorn resting for about you know, 45 minutes, an hour or so. And as you can see, it's all hardened up. And this is exactly why I wanted to put it onto a thin sheet. Because as you can see, the whole thing is hardened up into one piece. It's just going to make it far easier to just break it up just like so. Just so you have all those individual pieces again. It'd be a lot harder if it was one big clump. And there we have our green slime popcorn. Now if you haven't had popcorn covered in white chocolate before, it's something you just have to try. Trust me, it tastes fantastic. But by making it green, just puts a little bit of spin on for Halloween, which works out perfectly. And it literally takes just a couple minutes to make, but when you wrap some white, green, oozy chocolate over a delicious popcorn, it's going to taste simply ghoulish. <laughs> so for a perfect Halloween snack, whip up a batch today, because I know that you'll absolutely love it. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Dungeon. Please check the links down below to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe. <laughs>